Okay, so we're in here trying to find uh, find an error. I did make a change up here. Um, this whole thing should have been in uh, parentheses, this part right here. Now, you go through and you can't find your mistake. Um, there's always, uh, if you're using Chrome, you just go to click on the right click, go down to inspect element. Okay, I need to show you this. If you don't know this. All right. Uncaught syntax error. Token, yada, yada, yada. Let's click on that. And bam, it's going to show you. So you're like looking at this going, where is the... I can't see it. I looked at this. Oh, whoa. There's a parentheses right there. So there you go. All right. So let's go back into the script and hope that that uh, actually fixes that. And, you know, I've looked over this thing a million times and could not find it. So hopefully that takes uh, care of that. I hope. And, yeah, it looks like it did. Let me get down this down here on the screen so you can see this. I hate that one that does that. Okay. Let's... Uh, Let's actually increase that. So as you can see here, so we ran that loop a thousand times. Good news is some of the probabilities is one. Of course it should be, but you just never know. Um, so the probability that the sum of the x's is less than the sum of the y's was uh, 0.226. And the probability that the sum of the x's was greater than the sum of the y's is 0.79, and the probability that uh, they were that uh, they're equal is uh, 0 0.005. So what happens when I'm clicking this button up here? Well, it's running through that loop again. Okay, so you can kind of see that they're these things are changing a little bit. Right, so the more times that we run the loop, the uh, the better of uh, an estimate to the theoretical probability. And I think what I'm going to do here is run this loop at ten thousand times, and let's see let's see what happens here. Right. So sometimes our probabilities are extremely difficult to uh, calculate. But if you know how to just do a few lines of code here, of course, more than a few lines, but it's the basic stuff. It's always going to be the same stuff. You're going to run a loop. You're going to assign some uh, variables, some numbers to some variables. You're going to do some uh, if statements, go through all the cases, or maybe just the case you're interested in, and then output it. That's what you're going to do every single time. And we can really calculate some really difficult uh, probabilities if you had to do it theoretically. Now we did this, uh, okay, we're going to run this loop uh, 10,000 times. And let's see what it, it should be converging towards making sure I'm on the right screen. That's going to help, that's for sure. All right, let's click on that. So as you can see now, as we click the difference, these numbers aren't even jumping. Right, they're not jumping because we've really converged towards the more theoretical values. So this is pretty cool. You know, you should try doing this by hand or something and then figuring it out. You know, it's just a whole lot easier to write some lines of code and and, uh, and go that route. Okay. So I thought this was a cool little exercise. Um, in a previous video, let's just recap what's going on here. We, uh, in a previous video, I started out with, if we can scroll down so you can see this, we first generated a function that will generate a range of uh, natural numbers. Um, of course, if we include zero here, that would be uh, whole, uh, whole numbers. But, or we generated some natural numbers, whole numbers, whatever you want to say. Okay, so we came up with this, and then we wanted to use this which it's being called right here, as you can see. We wanted to use this, okay, to calculate uh, what's the uh, probability of this stuff, this stuff happening. So I'm going to have a ton of videos, hopefully, 
um, as I work on my math website side by side. Of course, it's Sunday, and I think I'm just doing this for fun. But uh, you can really do some interesting stuff if you just know some really some really just basic programming. Of course, you can apply this to any programming language. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Um, all right, I'd say that we're uh, over here at uh, GoToMath.com. GoToMath.com, but we're kind of GoToMath.com, I guess. Um, I'm not sure I'll have any links or exercises at this point to this kind of stuff at GoToMath.com. But anyway, that's where we're at. So come on by, check it out. Don't check it out at GoToMath.com. You can get some of my YouTube playlist somewhere. I'll put it somewhere. Okay? All right. See you later.